Hey, y'all, what's good? It's uh, Eddie Toby. I um, just want to highlight y'all real quick about what ministry is. Ministry is basically serving, all right? Um, it doesn't matter what title you hold, whether you're a janitor or whether you're an apostle in a church or whether you run a church or whatever you do, uh, just serve. You know what I mean? Serve, but serve with compassion and with love towards your fellow man. And I've seen, you know, quite a, um, a good amount of people who try to serve without those two key ingredients. Actually, three three key ingredients. One, the Holy Spirit. Uh, two, compassion. And three, love. You know, because the Bible says in Corinthians that, um, you know, love is patient, love is kind, love has no record of love, um, of um, harm or wrongdoing. It keeps no record of that. And so it's very imperative, man, that if you're in a position such as, you know, a pastor or any title that you have, whether you have one or not, just what you do, do it to the glory of God. And the Bible also speaks upon that. You know what I mean? And Because God, he sees the motives of the heart. He knows what you're doing when no one's looking. And so if your integrity is in uh, jeopardy of that, then you need to really, really evaluate yourself and uh, see what's going on. You see what I'm saying? But um, overall, what I really want to say is that uh, your title is not above God. It's like a, a king is not above his God. You know what I'm saying? And so, again, man, just remember that, you know, if God has appointed you and called you to a position, uh, the Lord can surely take it away. Uh, I.e., look at what happened to King Saul. When the Lord told him to go and destroy the Amalekites and everything that he owned, what did Saul do? He figured in his own heart and mind that it was better to keep their stuff but had he been obedient, uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, would have came through his uh, through his bloodline. But it said God found David because David had the right heart motive. He actually loved God for who he was, not because of what he can give him. And the Lord decided to choose to send Jesus Christ through David's bloodline instead of Saul's. And Saul lost everything. He even lost his, uh, his uh, kingship anointing. You know what I mean? That's why they said that the Spirit left him or whatnot. So he was like without guidance, just making decisions without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And so overall, when you're serving people, man, when you're ministering to other people, just do it with love and compassion. Grace and peace.